the No Fate channel, checking in. And on this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I'm going to take you through uh, some circuit training that requires absolutely zero home equipment and can be done in almost any space possible. If this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, at the time that I'm shooting this video, local gyms are opening up. The coronavirus is is starting to die down, thankfully. Um, and when this thing kicked off and every, all of us were locked out of our local gyms and stuck in our own domiciles, people were posting these equipmentless workouts left and right. Okay, so why am I doing this video now? It's not because I'm late to do the editing or I'm just behind the eight ball with regards to pop culture. I'm doing this equipmentless workout because so many of you are going back to your local gyms and you're still training incorrectly. For many of us, we have very specific goals that we want to look better. We want to, you know, lose weight. We want to tighten up. We want to be in better physical conditioning. And what happens is oftentimes we go to our local gym, we go back there and there's a plethora of equipment, the dumbbells, the machines, uh, the cardio equipment. And we think we're doing the right thing. We're working out. But the reality is we're not pushing ourselves very hard. And we're doing a lot more talking and we're doing a lot more texting at our local gyms. And oftentimes, even when we do get on a piece of cardio equipment, we're not going hard. We're not pushing ourselves. We're not getting outside of our comfort zone. And frankly, sometimes those pieces of cardio equipment are boring. I'm going to take you through a 16 minute circuit training workout. And what's nice about this is that it's over in 16 minutes and you don't have to count reps. Each exercise you're going to be doing for 30 seconds. And when you hear the beep, you move on to the next exercise. We're going to have eight exercises total, four minutes per round, 16 minutes total, four rounds. Obviously, if you are in super good uh, physical condition and you want to push yourself, go longer. You can do five rounds, six rounds. And on the other end, if, you're, if you need to go a little bit less, you can just do three rounds. Now, in terms of that beep, that 30 second round, I use a gym boss. It's like a $20 um, piece of equipment that I've had for years. My, my, my old one still works. I actually bought a new one just to have two. Um, but they have tons of apps that you can use in order to have circuit set up circuits. So every 30 seconds you get like an alarm just to move on to the next round. The best part about this workout is that it works. It's going to get your heart rate up. It's going to get you sweating and tired. And what many of us fail to realize is that when with regards to burning calories, it's not about getting on a elliptical and burning like 300 calories. We want to boost that metabolism so that our body is burning more calories the entire day so that we're really just killing those calories, losing that body weight that we want, making ourselves look nice and toned and working on our goals. So even though those gym, local gyms are open, we need to focus on actually putting in the work and not just going back to our old lazy habits of getting on an elliptical or a treadmill and kind of going through the motions without pushing the pace. The first exercise is the basic push-up. It is basic, it is boring, but it is highly effective because it works. Um, a few things, if you can't do a push-up and you need some variations, you can do a push-up on your knees, you can do a push-up um, against uh, stairs or against, uh, say, like a desk. You could also do a push-up against the wall to make things easier. Conversely, if you want to make them harder, you can actually use a band to give yourself some resistance during that push-up. You'll see in the video that I actually use perfect push-ups, which makes the push-ups a little bit more harder. But the reason I use that is because it is easier on my wrist. I find that doing tons and tons of push-ups puts a lot of strain on my wrist and it just can't handle it. That perfect push-up puts my wrist in a nice locked neutral position. Uh, and even though it makes the exercise harder, it makes, uh, makes it a lot easier on my wrist. Second exercise we are going to do is a plank. Um, for those of you who don't know, you simply get on the ground, hold yourself up uh, on your, your forearms, and you keep your core tight. You keep your back tight, you keep your abs tight, and you really want to focus on trying to take your belly button and bring it all the way in towards your back in order to engage that core, get that nice small waist and overall health. The third and the fourth exercise is going to be shadow boxing. And I know many of you have never shadow boxed before. And I, by no means, a boxer. I couldn't fight my way out of a paper bag. But the good thing about shadow boxing and the good thing why it's so effective is it gets your heart rate up. Even if you don't know how to throw a punch, you just start throwing punches and moving around a little bit, throw some more punches. You are going to be out of breath very, very quickly and you don't need much space. You can do it in a very, very confined space, but your heart rate is going to be through the roof. 
The next exercise is the air squat. And this is another basic exercise. So why am I really focusing on basic exercises? You don't need any equipment. You don't need any space and it works. The air squat is so brutal. And for some reason, I don't know about you, but for me, it gets my heart rate just through the roof on only a very short amount of reps. If you're not familiar with the air squat, you get your feet slightly shoulder width apart. You point your toes just slightly out, just slightly. And then you are going to squat down like you were sitting on a very low stool. And if you really want to add um, some energy to it, you really want to up your game, you can then throw your hands out and up as you do so. Um, and to kind of really sit back into that squat, trying to get to parallel or even below parallel if you feel comfortable. Um, and I'm going to put up some footage here to give you an idea of how it should look. And the first few times you do it, you're not probably not going to get it if you've never done it before. I would say stretch and keep practicing. It'll come to you and you'll find that the more warmed up you are, the easier it is to kind of sink down into that squat position. In the video, I am actually going to be using a slam ball to make it even more difficult. So I'm essentially going to be picking up a weighted ball and dropping it down below. So if you do want to make this exercise harder and you have a slam ball, you can use that. If you want to just get a weight in your hand, you could just simply pick up the weight, squat down, touch the floor with it, pick up the weight again, uh, and not necessarily have to drop that weight. Um, but there's tons of ways to make this exercise harder. However, the basic squat is pretty hard as it is. Trust me, rest assured, 30 seconds of that, um, getting good form is going to gash you out quite, quite quickly in all the right ways. The next exercise is the front raise. You want to keep your core nice and tight and engaged, and you are going to raise up. Now, I use a plate, um, a weighted plate, and as I mentioned, this is an equipmentless workout. So what can you do if you don't have a front plate? You can use a gallon. You can use two cans of sweet peas, and you just do a front raise. And Sounds stupid, sounds easy, but after 30 seconds of this, you are going to be tired. Your shoulders are gonna be tired, your abs are gonna be tired from engaging that core to make sure you're not swinging. Um, and it, again, you can use a gallon of milk, you could use a pint of milk. You get the idea to add weight to this exercise. Some of you are not gonna need much weight just to keep those hands up and engaging that core. And again, the idea is to do it right, not necessarily do it fast. The next exercise in this circuit is going to be abs. Now in the video, I use an ab mat. These things are not very expensive. They last forever and they're a great way to engage those abs. I love it. But if you don't have an ab mat, don't worry. You can do a crunch. You can do a sit up. You can do the alternating bicycles. Um, there's tons of different ab exercises. And if you can't think of any ab exercises, do the plank again, because that's my number one favorite ab exercise for shrinking that waistline is as, as a plank. The next Last exercise on our circuit is the lunge. Another basic, uh, another basic, basic exercise, but basic works and it is going to be very taxing on your legs, uh, on your glutes, and on your abs if you do it correctly. So you're going to start off standing position. You are going to take a step forward with one foot and you're going to lunge forward. Ideally, your, your back knee is not going to hit the ground. You want to stay in control where your back knee comes very close to the ground within an inch or even a half an inch, but doesn't slam off the ground. And you want to keep your front knee, that's your lead knee, you want to keep it from passing the front of your toes. So you really should feel very stable through this whole exercise. And when you get forward, you're going to then push yourself back. You're going to drive back with that lead leg to push yourself back to a standing position where your feet are nice and, and shoulder width apart and you're going to repeat that process with the other foot and again you don't have to count reps you're just going to go with that time for that 30 seconds now if you want to make this exercise harder there's a few ways number one you can just put your hands above your head if you've got the head clearance put your hands above the head do the same exercise and you'll find it's a lot harder to stabilize yourself you can also add weights to your hand you'll see in the video that i have dumbbells um, but listen weight is weight don't forget these sweet peas uh, will add some weight and they will add a lot more work to that lunge exercise. Um, overall, so many of you should be doing circuit training. That you're going to find it's the biggest bang for your buck with respect to your time, with respect to burning calories, and most importantly, with respect to boosting your metabolism for the rest of the day. Um, if you're going to your local gym and you're getting on some treadmill, great. But if you're not pushing yourself, if you're not really sweating and really trying to force yourself to go faster, to go harder, to go at a higher incline, or go at a faster pace, you're doing yourself a disservice because a lot of your efforts are going to be wasted and I hate seeing people waste time.
Hopefully you found this video informative and hopefully you found the footage just a little bit funny. Ideally, I'm hoping it just gave you some takeaways on how to increase your metabolism, how to get the most bang for your buck with respect to your time and your workouts, and hopefully gave you some ideas on the training that you can be doing at home without any work equipment whatsoever. Drop me a comment below if you have any questions. Drop me a comment below if you have any video requests on what you wanna see me cover in future uh, training workout videos. And if you see any down there that you like, that you agree with, hey, give them the like, the upvote, so that I know which ones are gonna be uh, beneficial to the most amount of my subscribers. If you came this far in the video, you know what to do. Give this video a like hit that subscribe button, use my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. It does help me out. It does help pay for the electricity. Um, as usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.